thank you very much for coming, Findever. Thank you. Uh, it's a great setup. I also, at this point in time, would like to uh, thank uh, Amazon AWS uh, for helping with this presentation and sponsorship of what we are doing. BSTAPS, uh, we are a fintech company. Uh, we always say that um, we are a company with a difference. We have been in the financial industry for the last 20 years in the brokering, trading, execution space. We know this space really, really well. We have uh, deep financial domain experience in our management as well as our technology. To give you an idea, every major bank in the world, you can see every name that exists out there, the top dealers who trade on exchanges as well as over-the-counter derivatives uh, products have actually traded on this platform. The reason why we want to talk about this is so that you understand, we understand security, we understand authorization, permissioning, the entire infrastructure, what are the needs of the trading community. Okay, so let's talk about build, test, and deploy, something that we want to talk about. Would you agree with something like this? A high school student today can actually build and deploy a website, assuming he has content, right, uh, in probably half an hour. And as soon as he puts it up, anybody can see it anywhere in the world instantaneously, right? And if you put it up in AWS or Azure or any of that infrastructure, you inherit the characteristics of those uh, infrastructure as well, secure, reliable, denial of service attacks, uh, stopped, and so on and so forth. A high school student, right? You can do that. What's the challenge today for financial industry? Every application, break it down into a couple of components, right? You need to build what is your secret sauce. That's where the companies put in their best minds, try to figure out what is that next algo, what is next model, what is next trading strategy, what do we do? How do we differentiate ourselves? You work with the team in building your secret sauce. However, once you have built that secret sauce, you have to put all these other components together. We are talking about financial industry, authentication, authorization, entitlement, security, paramount. Right? You also have to make sure in this day and age that the deployment is ubiquitous. It's great to see everyone talking about mobile first. And it is true, but you will also understand that the financial industry, you've got to make sure that it works on the desktop equally well. And like one of our colleagues said, deliver the desktop speed on your browser, if possible, because that's what is really needed, and on the mobile devices as well. So you, now, you have, after you've done authentication, authorization, all that stuff, you need to make sure that whatever you have built works everywhere. Once you have done that, you have to also make sure that your delivery is real-time, streaming, right, as needed. Worse than real-time and streaming, I believe, is on-demand, right? Gone are the days if you go to the trading floor of any of those banks, and they'll say, hey, the trading day starts at 7.30 in the morning, come at 7 o'clock, because if you have to reboot your machine, it might take 20 minutes, or if you have to start applications, it may take time. On-demand is the key. I click on something, I need to be able to get that information instantaneously, and we're not talking about streaming data or video only, everyone needs to be able to interact with that information. So you need to start putting those pieces together. Of course, everyone knows audit trail, how important it is, who used what, at what time, at what millisecond, what nanosecond. These are all very, very important um, uh, points. Uh, you also need some business intelligence. Doesn't matter whether the users are internal or external. You need to know who's using what, when, from where, so that it can help you refine all those um, uh, you know, products and uh, services that you're offering. 
And of course, uh, collaboration is the key. So the reason why building a financial application and distributing is so difficult is because of this, because you have to do all this, right? Would you agree that a much smaller team is focused on building the secret sauce while a much larger team has to focus on doing everything else, right? Now, there are several challenges from the development perspective as well. Um, you know, you are still stuck to your desk because of the infrastructure that you need. Uh, collaboration process with your colleague is difficult. Hey, come here, take a look, or let me send you a screenshot and stuff like that becomes uh, really clunky. And um, what we really need is a way to be able to bring the same ease with which a high school student, and no disrespect to them, pretty smart people out there, bring the same ethos and principles for financial applications development. So the third point did come through, right? Thank you. <laughs> um, so this is what we do. Uh, we have an application distribution as a service, uh, which is a cloud-based uh, uh, technology. And once you have utilized our infrastructure, I hope your users look like what you see at the bottom. Right? And it's OK. It's OK if you get a call and say, hey, you just deployed, but everything works all right. You know? And when does it happen? When does that happen? That really happens if your team can continue to focus on the secret sauce. What is very important is that nobody has time to re-architect their entire system. So the infrastructure that we have would work with your existing uh, you know, uh, system. Time to market is great. You build it once, works everywhere, like uh, you know, what we can talk about. It's a complete app distribution as a service. We can talk a lot more about it uh, in a pay-as-you-go business model. However, uh, you know, I'll skip over this, come by. If you have any questions about the architecture, the reason why I wanted to put this slide up is so you understand that 20 years have gone into building something like this, which interfaces with data, analytics, transactions, STP, various things like that. All right, so let's talk about actually looking at some of the applications uh, that we have built. So this is our website. I'll take a look at this just as an example that here is an app store, an ecosystem that anybody can build. My username and password, I sign in, I get authenticated and authorized, and I get a list of applications that I'm authorized for. So let me pull up one of my favorite applications is what I call Swaption Grid. Now, for many of the people, this screen may not make a lot of sense. However, what you are looking here is a one-month option into a one-year swap to a 20-year option into a 30-year swap. You are seeing volatilities, premium, strikes, all updating in real time. These are all the live markets, guys. Key thing, real time, streaming, on demand. Anyone who knows this marketplace will tell you that if anything changes in the interest rate world, anything, the screen is going to get updated. It got created for me on demand just for myself, okay? Something very simple. Now, let's take a look at perhaps maybe a simpler example of uh, a bond yield calculator. It's a two-year treasury, uh, coupon, maturity, price, yield, convexity, duration, stuff like that. Now, take a look at this. I can click on this. I can select a 30-year treasury, and my result is back instantaneously. Remember, I'm on laptop, on a Wi-Fi network. This is the kind of response that you get here. Now, it's not about just let me change two-year to 30-year and whatever else. I can say, hey, what if my convexity is 5119? I click on OK now, and my result is back this fast. Guys, it is all about real-time, on-demand, streaming, interactive stuff. Now, what I would like to do is show you how you can actually build an application. So I'm going to try something uh, over here. What, what will I do? 
we have our SDK, Beast SDK, that is installed uh, in AWS. And of course, you know, uh, we are cloud vendor neutral, so of course you can use Azure or anything else that you may need as well. Building an application in the cloud allows for a lot of different things. Once you have migrated your infrastructure in the cloud so that you can access your data, analytics, and so on and so forth, is very important. By the way, we work with the largest exchanges, the largest interdealer brokers, most traditional market data vendors like Reuters and others, where their data can be accessed in the cloud through our infrastructure. So we have built all those connectors as well, access to liquidity, access to trade processing, you know, a lot of connectors are also built. Now, very simple, we have uh, an app studio. Let's assume that I want to build an application and I have my secret sauce already built, right? I have a team that has put together a secret sauce. What all I want to do is I want to uh, pick a secret sauce that's really simple. So let's take any mathematical operation. So for example, let's say I go out and I say I want to build a new application. And um, uh, let's pick a name. Right now it's uh, seven minutes left, so I will say Findeavor 700. Right? Just pick an application name, doesn't matter. Go out click on OK, I get a blank canvas. We have a lot of different widgets available. I won't go through all of those, but you know, uh, in case if you are building financial applications, you will know that they come in very, very handy. What all I want to do is I want to put, let's say, three um, double fields, something very simple, right? And what I want to now do is I want to build an application which says generate the code for me, so I have three fields. I want to take the first field, the second field, and probably add um, the two together or multiply or whatever we want to do. So as you can see, I get my source code all generated. I can very simply say, so this is our infrastructure. By the way, I just want to make sure that you understand that this is not necessarily what you have to do. We are completely platform language agnostic. Uh, so I say, let me take the third field and set some value in there. Which, let's say, takes the first number And do what? Let's do multiply. So what have I done? I actually opened up a studio. I dragged and dropped some financial fields that I'm interested in. And I just go out and I say, build this application, right? So build succeeded. Of course, secret sauce was very simple. Let's go and take a look at what this looks like from the outside world. So as you can see, my remote desktop is down, and um, I'm back to my browser. This is the... Uh, machine that's in the cloud, 120.beastsdk.com, web apps. My username and password, um, you know, on uh, the development machines, we take the uh, authentication out. Of course, it can be added as needed. I sign in. I get authenticated and authorized. And let's see, these are the list of applications that I have. You don't see Findever here, right? Findever 700, whatever. All right. So now, let's go to my SDK and I say, publish the application. The application is published. Of course, I go back here. And I see that application. Do you see that at the bottom? Right? I can go in. And 
the application that we just built became available. I type in and say 2.3 to 3. Let's pick something simple. This is my answer. Now, if I want, I can go make a change while I'm still running this application, right? Remember, I just built an application, and if you want, call anybody anywhere in the world, anybody anywhere in the world, ask them to go to this, and they would be able to see this application. They'll be able to play with this application. We don't have time. I can show you if you guys want to come back. I can actually make change uh, such that I multi change, let's say, multiplication to division, and the answer will be immediately available, and the user would not even have to log out and log in, and they will get the new updated results. It's really that powerful. One last thing that I want to talk about is collaboration. Collaboration is key in our industry. However, the collaboration is still restricted to, let's make a phone call, let me take a screenshot, send you a screenshot, or we can probably do something like a screen sharing, WebEx, join me, whatever. Here is an application that we were looking at earlier. You saw that I actually made uh, a change. And this is a simpler version. There is a lot more complex workflow all built in as well. But let's say I select myself. And I say share this application with me. Now remember, this workflow can be initiated by the client or uh, the bank or whoever else. I say share this application. I would have received an email on my phone on. Guys, can you turn to my phone, please? So I go to my uh, Gmail account, and this is the email notification that I got, which says that an application has been shared with me. I click on the link that I get, and it shows exactly the same application that is there on my screen over here. Same 30 year, same prices, whatever else, same changes, exactly the same thing, right? Now, something interesting, okay? This is not screen scraping. If I make a change here, you will see the update on my screen. Guys, can you change the screen back to my screen over here? And you see I got an update. And if I make a change here, the same change will be available on that other phone. Now, what I want you to do is try this. Take your phone out if you have it. And I'm going to create a short uh, URL. This is the link that I shared with myself. And here is the link. Can you guys see it? Type this link on your phone, tablet, browser, whatever you want. Go ahead. What all I wanted to show is that you know, this will continue to work. If you make a change, I'll see an update. You make a change. I will see an update. This is fully audit trailed. That means you could have a button at the bottom that says buy, sell, OK, cancel, accept, reject, and you will have a transaction. Build, test, deploy in the cloud application distribution as a service. Thank you.